Hi boys and girls. Welcome back to Storytime with Miss Sharp. I am actually not going to read a fiction story today with you. I'm going to share a non-fiction book on things in nature. And this book is called Nature Anatomy. You can find it on Amazon. And it's written by Julia Rotham. She did um, all of the writing and the illustrations for the book. And it's a book that we love very much in our home. We use it a lot. So I wanted to share with you, um, since we're gonna be working uh, to learn more about life cycles in the next few weeks at school, I wanted to share with you a couple of different life cycles, one from the animal kingdom and one from uh, the plant kingdom. So let's take a look at the butterflies. Can you see that? All these different butterflies have four stages of their life cycle. So in the beginning, a butterfly was created and it laid eggs. The eggs then hatched and become caterpillars. And then the caterpillars go into the stage called a pupa stage. It's where they go into a chrysalis. Everybody say pupa. That's when they go into the little casing. It's called a chrysalis or some people call it a cocoon. Um, and they're kind of like dormant. They're just, their whole body is changing and it's going from the stage of being a caterpillar into a marvelously beautiful flying butterfly. It's like such a miracle of nature. So then the very last stage is the butterfly. So let's take a look at and follow the arrows on the picture. And I want you to look at how the eggs look different from each one of these um, butterflies. The eggs look different and the caterpillars look different and the chrysalis even looks a little different for each one. And then of course out emerge, emerges a totally different butterfly in each case. So let's take a look at each one. Here's your first one. And the second one, these we see a lot of. And then the next one here, see, follow the arrows. So you start with the eggs, the caterpillar, the chrysalis, which the pupa is inside of the chrysalis, and then it emerges into the butterfly. So think about these caterpillars. How many of these have you seen around your house? The different caterpillars here. Have you seen these around your house? We see them around our house quite a bit. So I wanted to share that one with you. If you see one, you can catch it and put it in a jar with leaves from the area that you found it. Look for the leaves on the bush or the tree that you found the caterpillar nearest. And if you put those in a jar, and make sure it gets air. So maybe you can like put a little plastic um, covering with a rubber band on it and punch some holes in it. And you can watch that little um, caterpillar turn into a chrysalis. If you, you have to put a couple of sticks in there too so it can have something to hang its chrysalis onto and build around itself. And then in a couple of weeks, out comes the butterfly and it is so amazing. It's one of the most fun things that we do in the springtime here at my house. The other life cycle, so when we talk about a life cycle, we talk about what is the beginning stage of that life and what stages does it go through to complete the cycle from the beginning to the very end of its life. Okay, so the other one I was going to share with you is from the plant kingdom, and it is 
the mushroom. So the mushroom, you see here, when it's fully developed, it lets off these spores into the air. And they're so tiny, the spores are so tiny, most of the time you can't see them. But then they land, they land on the ground or they land on rocks or on fallen trees and they begin to grow into this next stage called the spore germination. They start to just spread out their multiplying cells, okay, plant cells. And then it moves into the mycelium stage where it kind of starts to get some footing, like root structure. You see there? And then you start to see little tiny pinheads come up. Just like a little teeny tiny, like I have this little mole on my arm right here and that's what it reminds me of. It's just a little tiny bump, okay? And then it starts to grow a little bit of a body that's rooted onto the dead log or tree that's fallen or into the ground. Um, and then the top of it starts to grow taller too. And then there, it's still growing. And then finally it grows up so tall with the big mushroom cap on it. And that's when it is a fully grown mushroom. And there are lots of kinds of mushrooms, and I would think that you should probably go out and look around, and they usually grow in shady areas. And maybe um, take a walk with somebody in your house and go look for some mushrooms, but don't eat them, okay? Because only certain kinds are edible, and some are very poisonous. So if you touch them, you need to wash your hands too, okay? But, they're just so amazing, and that was just a different life cycle that I wanted to share with you. There are so many different animals and plants that we can talk about with life cycles, and we're gonna do that when we start our lessons um, in our new science unit soon, okay? So I just wanted to give you that little bit. So don't forget, this is a really great book. It's full of so many amazing facts and really detailed pictures to help you understand nature around you. And it's one of my, my top recommendations for nonfiction. I'll see you guys soon.